What's going on YouTube? Welcome to the channel. I'm Nubs here. If you guys are doing around here, I don't normally upload a lot on YouTube anymore. If I do, they call the duty montage and sniper montages here and there after every season and a couple videos a month. I'm always live on Twitch. So if you guys want to go over, head over to my Twitch right now. It's the same as my YouTube Nubs here. I'm always live almost every single day. We stream from, you know, five to six hours. And then, you know, on the weekends or if days where I don't got nothing going on, the next day I stream for long hours of periods of times of 10 hours. And if you guys like watching Apex, BRs, like Warzone, Call of Duty content, and I like to mix it up here there um i've been playing a lot of apex so if you guys uh want to go watch me on my live stream on apex head over to my twitch and give me a follow i really appreciate it thank you guys today's video is going to be an apex video i know i did my first apex video on youtube on this channel in general hope you guys like it as of today we did hit, just hit 1300 subscribers i've been uploading some youtube shorts i hope you guys have been enjoying those i'm still trying to figure out how to actually upload them i've been uploading them just from my phone and I can't, I don't have options to do like tags and descriptions. So maybe that's why I haven't been getting a lot of views on them. So I'm gonna try to upload them on my computer now. Basically just uh, more of like whatever I post on my TikTok. You guys wanna follow me over there as well. It's uh, Nubzer as well as the same as everything. Anyways, let's get right onto the video. I know I'm very new to Apex. I played way back in the beta times before season one, all that good stuff. Didn't really like it. That was the time when Blackout came out, which was the Call of Duty first Warzone type of deal. It was in the Black Ops 4. That's when they first started doing Battle Royale and I just liked that royale better than apex at the time so i never gave apex a try at the time i love apex i've been playing it a lot i've been playing a lot of rank i'm about to be almost gold i'm not the best but i would give some tips out to the new players or players that are trying to get better here that's what you're here for this video sorry that the intro is kind of taking a little bit i haven't been on youtube so i'd like to give you guys a little update so this video here i'm gonna show you guys best controller best controller controls how to like lock down your aim and everything first off i'm gonna show you guys right away i'm just gonna go in my settings here and we're gonna go through like we're gonna go through a uh, stick layout I'll use the default we're just gonna go through all my settings here and i'm gonna kind of go in depth of like stuff that's important here uh tap to reload all that good stuff um trigger triggered uh dead zones i just keep it on none i play on an elite controller so like i just like i'm able to do all that stuff on a whole nother thing look sensitivity so i've been playing on super high you want to have your look sensitivity on controller higher than your ads sensitivity look sensitivity is just when you're looking around moving around your character when you're not ads and you're aiming down your sights so i play on six round go mess around with that go in firing range and mess around with it i usually go about half of it so when i go to ads i do about half of what my look sensitivity is it's kind of been kind of locking down for me if not i'll go one above or two below i do not recommend going anything higher than what your actual look sensitivity is or even the same i mean it, you gotta, you gotta fill yourself out that's the big thing here i'm not telling you to use these exact controls but i'm telling you like these are some tips that help you kind of lock in your aim and just everything make the game feel better when you're playing look ads sensitivity i like it when it's you know half of the number when i'm aiming i like to keep it steady i don't like to be like everywhere like i'm keep when it's steady like that it's hard to the less sensitivity so i'm more, less moving around and missing my shots right response curve i've been playing on steady i really still messing around with this but steady's been kind of nice for me to balance you can it kind of gives you a description on the side of everything there steady you can go ahead and try it and then lock dead zone basically is uh we have drifting in your controller like i have a lot in mind so i do like small just because like you can tell like if your analog's just sitting there and you can see your cursor moving up and down it's kind of lock it in if you guys want to go crazy with it you guys can look up some youtube videos on here maybe later on i will go crazy with if you go to advanced controls you can really 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 adjust and get your shot really locked down there um i haven't really messed with that yet i'm still trying you know just getting the sticks going on the game so i'm feeling comfortable i play if you play on fov like all the way like you want to be at the miss of you you want to be able to see as much as you can here so make sure you got that at 110 uh make sure you guys are playing i i tell this on every game this goes for every game play play please play with please play with your vibration off it's especially playing first person shooters just play with your vibration off please make sure that is off um vibration right here off yes um it's gonna help you a lot when you're aiming because you don't want your free you don't want your controller shaking around in your hand when um uh, when you're shooting someone and then your aim's off like trust me like it's gonna feel weird if you're used to vibration but you just give it a shot play for it like a couple days you get used to it and i'm, I'm gonna tell you your, your shot's gonna be way better i'm telling you that is 100 percent facts on that so i'm gonna load in the firing range here kind of show you guys some things to do around you know get try, try to lock your aim down mess with the settings while you're in firing range and uh you kind of just want to kind of just want to you know what you feel comfortable with uh what i do a lot too before i even hop on i hit the firing range and i for at least like you know five ten minutes i mean you can, i mean half hour like i mean if you're trying to get cracked you're trying to get sweaty a half hour if you're definitely gonna play rank you know just hit the firing range before you queue up in anything and like it like i always say like i'm always changing something in my controls of like 80 like you know all my sensitivities and stuff you, you really just gotta feel you gotta, you gotta get a feel for it 
I, uh, you know, I recommend picking up gun or uh, using a gun that you usually like you like to use in the game. Grab a couple attachments and some uh, some ammo. What I like to start off here, see, so you, you can see the ADS when I'm aimed down is really slow compared to when I'm not. So that's the difference there. See when I'm there and it's just like it's so tight. You know, I keep my aim down. So what the way I play is like you know, see Emony. Basically, I hop in firing range and I kind of just go back and forth on these little targets here. My goal is to hit this last target here in one in one clip. That's your goal, really, is to hit that last that farther target in one clip. And if you can consistently do that, that's where you want to be. And obviously, you know, you know, I don't I don't have to get make a video on like you know how to use the training. Obviously, you know what I'm saying, but. Hit some targets, hit some far targets, get your aim on. Biggest key in the game, use it, use the firing range. That's all that's all I gotta say. You wanna improve your gameplay, your movement, your, your aiming, everything basically, just hit the firing range. But uh yeah, if you had any questions or things that I missed, I know I missed a lot of things. So you throw them down in the comments below. I'll try to help you guys with everything. But like I said, you guys wanna watch me play live, hit me over on Twitch. I'm gonna try to upload at least twice a week here now on YouTube. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. And if you guys are not already, hit that subscribe button. Um, like I said, I'm gonna be trying to upload at least twice a week now. So hope to see you guys back. Hope to see some new faces around here. Um, and that's gonna be it for me. Nubzers out, and I'm gonna see you guys in the next one.